Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the dark side of self-care and what that might mean for those of us struggling with serious mental health issues or just overwhelming amount of stress. In today's climate, it seems that self-care has been marketed as getting manicures, pedicures, going to get a facial with your girlfriends, getting your hair done, and all of these things that can cost a lot of money. I'm not saying that those are not self-care because they can definitely be on the hierarchy of self-care. However, there's a piece of self-care that we often don't talk about, and that is just meeting your basic needs. Some of us don't have the energy to get up and go get a mani-pedi. Some of us don't even have the energy to wake up and wash our own faces. And that's okay. For me, today self-care is going to be about putting some post-it notes around my house that remind me just to take a second and breathe. Making sure I set a reminder to take my medications that are prescribed from my doctor because I deserve to live a healthy lifestyle. Waking up and washing my face and doing my skincare routine because I deserve to feel clean. Making sure I throw in a load of laundry, not because I enjoy it or because I want to, but because I deserve to wear clean clothes today. And also setting some reminders on my phone to check in with my nervous system and doing a nervous system exercise to reset it if I'm feeling dysregulated or overwhelmed. These are some of the self-care exercises that often get swiped under the rug and minimized, but they are extremely important. Self-care isn't always something that is enjoyable. Sometimes it's just something that you deserve as a natural human being with basic and inherent dignity, self-worth, and respect. What are you gonna do today to meet your basic needs and to make sure that you're participating in self-care that takes care of your physical body, your spiritual mind, and your soul.